Another day, another Lenovo ID-Pad L340 on board. We promise, this is the last one for now. More specifically, it is the ID-Pad L340 Gaming, 17 inches, dash the bigger brother of a laptop we showed you yesterday. As we say that, we really, really hope that the larger device will introduce something better and more compelling than what we saw with the 15-inch version. When you present to the public a laptop that comes in two variants, there are basically two options in front of you. The first one is to make basically the same notebook, slightly enlarged, with the same internal components and a relatively similar price. On the other side, you can go for better cooling, stack more upgradeability options inside and strengthen the chassis. Clearly, Lenovo has gone for the first of the two options, as we see the only improvement in the display department, where the IPS Full HD panel is going to be the most popular choice. Additionally, there are the Coffee Lake Core i5 and Core i7 that boost its performance, while on the GPU side it comes with either the GE Force GTX 1050, 3GB GDDR5, or the newer GTX 1650, 4GB GDDR5. What's in the box? Inside the black retail package of this laptop, you are going to find the mandatory paper manuals as well as the IDPad L340 Gaming, 17 inches, and a 135 watts charging adapter to power the beast. Design and Construction The build quality and the looks of this laptop completely match its price tag. In fact, if it wasn't for the budget build materials, plastic all around, it would actually look pretty nice. You are definitely going to be undercover when gaming on this laptop in a cafe for example. If you remove the NVIDIA GTX stickers of course. In terms of measurements, it is pretty similar to the HP Pavilion Gaming 17, 2019, which it competes directly with. Weirdly, you won't be able to open the huge screen of this laptop with a single hand. However, it is a lot more susceptible to bend than a lid on the 15-inch L340 Gaming and it also features a physical shutter on its camera. Then on the base, there is a backlit keyboard that is blue in color, which is something fresh and matches the blue Lenovo logo on top of the lid. As far as the experience when typing and during gaming, well, it is not the most comfortable of them all, but it does the job with its respectable travel and clickiness. Its touchpad, however, is terrible, just buy an external mouse for 5 bucks, it will do a better job. Expectedly, as with the non-gaming and the 15-inch L340 gaming ID pad, this one has its speakers on the side of the bottom panel. Additionally, it draws cold air from some grills at the bottom and exhausts it from in between the base and the display. Ports IOYs it all starts with the special Lenovo charging plug, an RJ45 connector, an HDMI port, followed by two USB Type-A 3.1, General 1, ports, an audio jack and a USB Type-C 3.1, General 1, unfortunately for left-handers, all of them are placed on the left. Disassembly and Upgrade Options after consulting with Lenovo's official maintenance guide, we are pretty confident that the insides of the 17-inch version of the IDPad L340 Gaming are exactly the same as those of the 15-inch variation, meaning that the disassembly process is going to be the same. The only difference we found is that the bigger version has two more screws securing the bottom plate to up the tally to 13 of Philips type. Display Quality Lenovo IDPad L340 Gaming, 17, has a full HD IPS panel, made by LG with a model number LP173WF4SBF6, LG D05B9. Its diagonal is 17.3 inches, 43.94 centimeters, and the resolution 1921080 pixels. The screen ratio is 16 to 9 and we are looking at a pixel density of 127 p and a pitch of 0.20.2 mm. The screen turns into retina when viewed at distance equal to or greater than 69 cm 27 inches, 
from this distance one's eye stops differentiating the separate pixels, and it is normal for looking at a laptop. The measured maximum brightness of 337 nits in the middle of the screen and 317 nits as an average for the whole area, with a maximum deviation of 9%. The correlated color temperature on a white screen is 16900K, slightly colder than the optimal for the sRGB standard of 6500K. In the illustration below you can see how the display performs from a uniformity perspective. In other words, the leakage of light from the light source. Values of the 2000 over 4.0 should not occur, and this parameter is one of the first you should check if you intend to use the laptop for color-sensitive work. The contrast ratio is fine, 1070 to 1. To make sure we are on the same page, we would like to give you a little introduction to the sRGB color gamut and the Adobe RGB. To start, there's the C1976 Uniform Chromaticity Diagram that represents the visible specter of colors by the human eye, giving you a better perception of the color gamut coverage and the color accuracy. Inside the black triangle, you will see the standard color gamut, sRGB, that is being used by millions of people in HDTV and on the web. As for the Adobe RGB, this is used in professional cameras, monitors, etc. for printing. Colors inside the black triangle are used by everyone and this is the essential part of the color quality and color accuracy of a mainstream notebook. Still, we've included other color spaces like the famous DCI-P3 standard used by movie studios, as well as the digital UHD Rec.2020 standard. Rec.2020, however, is still a thing of the future and it's difficult for today's displays to cover that well. We've also included the so-called Michael Pointer Gamut, or Pointer's Gamut, which represents the colors that naturally occur around us every day. The yellow dotted line shows Lenovo IDPad L340 Gaming, 17S color gamut coverage. Its display covers only 84% of the sRGB, E to RBT.709, Web, HDTV standard, in C1976. Our design and gaming profile delivers optimal color temperature, 6500K, at 140CD slash M2 luminance and sRGB gamma mode. We tested the accuracy of the display with 24 commonly used colors like light and dark human skin, blue sky, green grass, orange, etc. You can check out the results at factory condition and also, with the design and gaming profile. Below you can compare the scores of Lenovo IDPad L340 Gaming, 17, with the default settings, left, and with the gaming and web design profile, right. The next figure shows how well the display is able to reproduce really dark parts of an image, which is essential when watching movies or playing games in low ambient light. The left side of the image represents the display with stock settings, while the right one is with the gaming and web design profile activated. On the horizontal axis, you will find the grayscale and on the vertical axis, the luminance of the display. On the two graphs below you can easily check for yourself how your display handles the darkest nuances but keep in mind that this also depends on the settings of your current display, the calibration, the viewing angle, and the surrounding light conditions. PWM, Screen Flickering Pulse Width Modulation, PWM, is an easy way to control monitor brightness. When you lower the brightness, the light intensity of the backlight is not lowered, but instead turned off and on by the electronics with a frequency indistinguishable to the human eye. In these light impulses, the light, no light time ratio varies, while brightness remains unchanged, which is harmful to your eyes. You can read more about that in our dedicated article on PWM. Lenovo IDPad L340 Gaming 17S display doesn't use PWM for brightness adjustment at any level. This means it is comfortable for long working periods, without presenting any harm to your eyes in this aspect. Blue Light Emissions 
Installing our HealthGuard profile not only eliminates PWM but also reduces the harmful blue light emissions while keeping the colors of the screen perceptually accurate. If you're not familiar with the blue light, the TL, doctor version is, emissions that negatively affect your eyes, skin and your whole body. You can find more information about that in our dedicated article on blue light. Conclusion Lenovo iDPad L340 Gaming, 17S Full HD IPS Panel has a good contrast ratio and comfortable viewing angles. Also, we were happy to see the lack of PWM for adjusting the brightness of this screen. By our profiles Since our profiles are tailored for each individual display model, this article and its respective profile package are meant for Lenovo iDPad L340 Gaming, 17, configurations with 17.3 inches FHD IPS LG LP 173 WF4 SPF 6, LG D05B9. Should you have problems with downloading the purchased file, try using a different browser to open the link you'll receive via email. If the download target is a PHP file instead of an archive, change the file extension to zip or contact us at bg.laptopmedia at gmail.com Sound Lenovo iDPad L340 Gaming, 17, has decently sounding speakers. Its low, mid and high tones are clear of deviations. Drivers All drivers and utilities for the Lenovo iDPad L340 Gaming, 17 inches, can be downloaded from here, support.lenovo.com web link battery. Now, we conduct the battery tests with Windows Better Performance setting turned on, screen brightness adjusted to 120 nits and all other programs turned off except for the one we are testing the notebook with. Despite being larger in size, the iDPad L340 Gaming, 17 inches, has exactly the same 45 watt hours battery unit as its smaller brother. Obviously, this means the battery life would be shorter, around 5 hours of web browsing and video playback. CPU Options Your processor options here are the quad-core Core i5-9300H and the hexa-core Core i7-9750H. GPU Options Similarly to the smaller laptop, you can pick from the GTX 1050 or the newer GTX 1650. Lenovo IdeaPad L340, 17 inches, gaming GPU variants. Here you can see an approximate comparison between the GPUs that can be found in the Lenovo IdeaPad L340, 17 inches, gaming models on the market. This way you can decide for yourself which Lenovo IdeaPad L340, 17 inches, gaming model is the best bang for your buck. Note, the chart shows the cheapest different GPU configurations so you should check what the other specifications of these laptops are by clicking on the laptop's name, GPU, temperatures and comfort. Max CPU load. In this test we use 100% on the CPU cores, monitoring their frequencies and chip temperature. The first column shows a computer's reaction to a short load, 2 10 seconds. The second column simulates a serious task, between 15 and 30 seconds, and the third column is a good indicator of how good the laptop is for long loads such as video rendering. Verdict Ok, so this laptop is being one of Lenovo's best effort to brand a lineup for extremely budget gaming and separate the Legion series as a more premium device at the same time. They surely succeeded with the first one as the iDPad L340 Gaming, 17 inches, doesn't look nor feel like a gaming laptop, whatsoever. In terms of performance, it works exactly as expected from the hardware it packs and moreover it looks like it can easily handle the more powerful processor, the Core i7-9750H. We have to note that the GTX 1650 has better performance but uses less power than the GTX 1050, which makes less demanding in terms of cooling. Its battery size is pretty small. Man, with that much space inside they could have easily put at least a 52 watt hours battery pack, 
the current one is 45 watt hours and we are in doubt it is going to be upgradable. Despite that, they have apparently done a pretty good job in terms of optimization, because we were able to extract 5 hours of web browsing and video playback. Additionally, it was great to see that it has an IPS full HD panel, LG LP173WF4SBF6, LG D05B9, that is comfortable for use and was pleasing on the eyes. This was confirmed by our lab results, mainly with the lack of flickering, PWM, at any brightness level. Additionally, the laptop covers 84% of sRGB has a good contrast ratio and a decent maximum brightness. So, at the end of the day, the IDPad L340 Gaming, 17 inches, is not a terrible device. However, we were happier with the HP Pavilion Gaming 17, 2019, and we think it is the better deal unless Lenovo cuts that price tag even lower. Feel free to share with us in the comments, are you excited about the new IDPad gaming series? Would you prefer it to a low-tier Legion device or you're fine with the slightly lesser build quality?